anyway. Hey there, I'm Talia, founder of Whoopi Lunch, and today we're gonna make one of my cookbook recipes. It's called the Green Tuna Pasta Salad, and it is the only canned tuna recipe that I like so far. In fact, it turned me on to canned tuna. Before this recipe, I could not stand the smell or the taste of it. But I don't know, this recipe just changed up for me and I'm so excited to share it with you. You can grab the whole recipe in the description and in the cookbook when it comes out on March 29th. This recipe is so simple and quick, but it makes an amazing lunch. It's kind of like a pasta salad, right? So you don't have to reheat it. It's easy to pack. You just pull it out of your fridge and enjoy it for lunch or dinner or whenever you want it. All we're doing for this recipe is boiling pasta. We're gonna boil the asparagus, which is the main vegetable, in the pasta pot. So you're cooking two things at once. Yay for multitasking. Then we're gonna blend up a sauce with avocado, yogurt, a bunch of herbs and spices and shallots and stuff like that. And then we're gonna to toss it all together with the tuna, the pasta, the sauce, and it comes together into a really bright, delicious, refreshing and filling lunch that will probably come together in about 20 minutes. What more could you want? If you're new here and you don't know about our cookbook, the Warpy Lunch Cookbook will have 60 recipes that are just packable lunch recipes, ready to go, perfect for work. Um, we are, it is the only meal prep book that exists right now that is not for dieting or weight loss or eating healthier or eating less. Of course, the recipes in this book are healthy, right? They're balanced, they have protein, veggies, and carbs, and they're satisfying, but the point isn't to restrict or eat less. The point is just to get something on your plate that you're gonna enjoy for lunch and move on with your life, live your life. You know, that's kind of our philosophy here at Work Week Lunch. And I'm really excited that this book aligns with our values and that the publisher allowed me to create this cookbook that doesn't have any diet culture in it. So with that said, let's make this pasta salad. It's gonna be so amazing and I hope you try it. Let me know what you think in the comments. So the first thing we're gonna do is bring a pot of water to boil because that usually takes longest. Then we'll chop some stuff. So first up, we're gonna chop this asparagus. So I'm gonna use the whole thing and it's really important to me when recipes use up the entire ingredient. That's why I'm never gonna say a certain amount of asparagus. My recipes generally say one bunch of asparagus because I want you to use up the whole bunch. You're not gonna screw it up if it's too much or too little. It's just one of those things. And then I'm gonna chop them up into pieces like this. One thing, bite size, easy to eat. All right. It's a lot, but it'll be, it'll be fine. And this is gonna cook with the pasta. So next up, we're going to prepare our herbs for the sauce. I'm gonna do about a half a cup of each. What I love about this recipe is that really you can use any herbs you have on hand. And if you don't like cilantro, you don't have to use cilantro. Uh, if you don't like parsley, you don't have to use parsley. Whatever, it's really up to you. So I like to do like packed half cup. So let's call that a half cup. What's this? Do a little more cilantro. You can also use dill for this recipe. It's really up to you. Okay, so we don't need to make the sauce just yet. I like to prep all and chop everything before you know we need it. So I'm going to keep chopping. All right, so my water is just up boiling. I'm gonna go throw in the pasta and the asparagus. Let's do it. So my pasta and asparagus is gonna cook for about 12 minutes and in that time, we'll make the rest of the recipe. All right, so we're gonna make the sauce. So I'm gonna need some garlic. Now, as you know, you measure garlic with your heart. My recipe calls for two cloves, which I'm gonna do. You can do as many cloves of garlic as your heart desires. And you're gonna need a food processor for this recipe. You can also use a blender. You don't need to chop it because we're gonna use a food processor, but I'm gonna just give it a rough little chop there. Compost. This is my food processor. I'll link in the, in the description below. We're basically just gonna add all of the sauce ingredients and blend it up. <laughs> so 
So this is a yogurt-based sauce. If you are vegan or dairy-free, you could absolutely use dairy-free yogurt. You can also use tahini for this recipe if you prefer that. And then we're gonna need some avocado. So I opened up the sad avocado earlier. I'm gonna use some of this. Don't wanna let it go to waste, even though it's sad. Ready to blend? Let's do it. All right, that looks so good. It smells incredible, so fresh, so bright. Let's taste it. And this is why it's in the cookbook because it's perfect. I literally don't have to make any changes. Okay, now that's done. Our pasta is basically done. I have to chop up some sun-dried tomatoes and then we mix it all together with the tuna and we're good to go. So now we're going to basically just add everything together. Got my sauce. Ooh, it's steamy. Now, like I said earlier, I was not a fan of tuna before this recipe and I think I like it so much in this recipe because you can barely see it. It's like kind of chopped in and I'll show you that in a minute. All right. So I'm gonna mix that up. <laughs> Steamy. All right, let's set this aside and chop the rest of our ingredients and then we're done. That's it. So we have sun-dried tomatoes, which is another ingredient I didn't love until, you know, I learned how to use it properly. So this recipe calls for about a third of a cup of sun-dried tomatoes. And then we're also gonna chop in some shallots and I think then just the tuna and we're done. Do a chop like this. And then add it directly to the bowl here. Then we'll do a shallot. You can also do red onion. We only need about a half of a cup. So I'm just going to quarter this guy. Last ingredient, our beloved tuna. I really like this um, Wild Planet Skipjack tuna. I did research on like what kind of tuna is best and this one kept coming up. I don't know if it's like the, the most affordable, but it's definitely the one that I like that was available in my store. Um, it's packed in oil, which is a lot more flavorful than tuna packed in water. So I'm gonna drain these over the sink and then flake them and into my bowl and then that's it. It is so good. I think what I was saying that we missed is that tuna is a great protein for meal prep. And I knew that I wanted to include tuna in the cookbook because it's easy, it's affordable, it's accessible. You don't have to cook it. So I'm glad I figured out a recipe that I enjoyed. It's, this is my favorite recipe in the book. It's because it's so easy to make and it's so delicious. So let's get into meal prep containers and move on because we've got meal prep done for the week. So again, one portion for me might be two for you or or one free, you know, one, two portions for me would be one for you. Like who's to say how much you want to eat in one sitting. You might need a different amounts of food on different days. So when it comes to portion sizes, take it with a grain of salt. Again, it's not hard and fast. There's no rules here. Put as much food in, in your containers that you think you'll need. And if it's too much or if it's too little, that's okay. Meal prep is messy sometimes. What can I say? I mean, this recipe has it all. It takes like 20 minutes to make. Protein, veggies, carbs, flavor, it's no reheat. All right, that's it. So this can last in the fridge for up to four to five days. Don't freeze it. Um, you can eat it cold, room temperature, or warm. I personally would eat it room temperature or cold. And that's it, the recipe's in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this inspires you to get some meal prep done, make a pasta salad. If you pre-order the book, we have some amazing bonuses for you. Um, email your receipt to jessica at workweeklaunch.com and we'll get the bonuses to your inbox right away. Bye.
Bye, Coco. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.